सो हे गाइज नील हेयर एंड टुडे वी आर प्लेइंग अ न्यू गेम कॉल्ड इज नॉट अ न्यू गेम बेसिकली इट्स एन नॉट इवन अ इयर ओल्ड गेम सो दैट्स वाई एम कॉलिंग इट अ न्यू गेम द नेम ऑफ द गेम इज एज यू नो बाई द टाइटल ऑफ द वीडियो टर्मिनेटर रेजिस्टेंस एंड टू डे वी आर गोइंग टू बी प्लेइंग दिस गेम ऑन माई पी सी सो एज यू नो फ्रॉम माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैव एन ट्वेल्व जी बी ऑफ रैम एंड बेसिकली an RX 584 GB OC edition graphics card with an i3 processor so i will be playing this video uh, uh, video or this playing this video game sorry and my bad sorry i just stumbled uh, stum stammered stammered basically i do stammer because i'm nervous right now while making this video so as you know that my videos are unedited i don't edit my videos completely so i would be we i will be pretty candid with you guys so the first point that i will be saying that this game is graphically not as good as the uh, any other triple a games as you can see the textures they are pretty much old as you can see the movement of the game is pretty much old but the graphics is more or less okay now what is the speciality of this game the speciality of this game is that this is basically term game of terminators you destroy terminators you basically face them and kill them so we are going to be playing this game just to see does it give us a 60 fps or not but while i'm recording this video i can say it with confidence with full confidence that this game provides us a 60 fps a stable 60 fps frame rate so before starting the gameplay i would like to show you the specs that i have set it on so first let us get to the options menu we can see here the video like graphics auto detect detect Uh, do you want do you want to auto detect the recommended graphic settings this might take a while so yeah we did it uh, on recommended graphic settings so yeah it detected and you can see that the material quality is high as film grain is on frame rate is unlimited and the view distance is basically epic epic and epic and high so only this resolution we can set this on a 1920 and basically we can set this graphics on you know ep epic because it is already on epic just the resolution so as you can see as my monitor doesn't support as i have a monitor issue as i said in the previous videos so it this notification will go within a few while so let's see how much fps as it gives us as you can see it's still the video is still giving a strong fps as you can see i am just uh, moving the cursor of the mouse and as you can see it's giving a stable fps so in order to remove this notification though it will though this notification will get removed within a minute uh, let us give us a time let's do some crafting and just wait for this notification to get off Let's craft. I need it badly. Crafting. Uh, yeah, I did it. So as you can see, I do have a uh, monitor. Oh, it 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 gone. It is gone right now. So yeah, let's play the game. So my main objective is to. Mm, Download the codes from the HK tank and complete the codes. So let's do it. Let's hack it. So till now we can see that on a 1080p the game is giving us a solid 60 fps. If any one of you use the screen recorder app you can just turn on the software and view this video and you can see a solid frame rate of 60 fps 
and I'm just recording the game with bandy cam. So yeah. Okay, I think they saw us. So they. Get to the other side of the route. Till now the game is giving us a solid 60 fps so let's get into the heat of the moment like let's get into the heat like where the action will actually take place we'll take down some terminators they can see us Take down these guys. Basically I made two videos on GTA 5 in my playlist if you guys are interested you can go and watch it it's a nice video and you can give it a watch. killed all of the enemies here Yeah, my bad. So let's start it again. So till now, I do have a good experience with this graphic card RX 580. Does it bottleneck? Yeah, pretty much it does. Grenade. I have a 
Like this gun, it's very sleek and sexy. Uh, Miss probably there are three snipers you can see. It's basically a, a sniper, but it has a it deals with a higher it deals a greater damage. But basically, I like this gun too. But this gun only works on the robots like this, and and this shotgun is basically this uh, this uh, this is a shotgun which uh, deals a great damage, but it it is ineffective against the terminators like the T800s. Only that these two rifles are against are effective against this, you know, terminators. So let's start. Okay, so we're here. So I have now decided I will not die. Okay. We've got a problem. That HK is still functional. I can't get near. You need a rocket launcher to even make a dent in that thing. You better find one. So we have to find a rocket launcher, right? Where is the rocket launcher? Okay, our backpack is full. All right, let's see what we can. can damage the each tick tank just look around the box got it i'm trying to analyze its weakness okay it's power oh let's upgrade our skills and then we'll decide what to do and what to not toughness fast learner fly is located on its back Shoot. Skynet's reinforcements are starting to show up. Nice shot. Now get the cover until it returns to the scanning machine.
I died. So basically I'll try it another time right now and I just wanted to uh, create this video just to showcase how the game is performing all I can say is that the game is performing at, at its core level on a 1080p it's giving a stable frame rate of 60 fps as I can see on my bandicam software mm, I can even show you the screenshot uh, I can't even show you the screenshot but you know if I could because I do have a film mode I'm editing on a film mode a video editor software but if I could then I'll try to show you the screenshots later on but all I can say is that the game is giving a solid 60 FPS it's not coming down under 60 FPS maybe max minimum maximum it's coming down under 60 FPS is 59 FPS it's not going above 60 FPS because it's locked at 60 FPS maybe but this game as a performance as a game I would say it's an okay game as you guys have seen the only gun that I have liked in this game is this gun this is a great solid gun as gameplay wise it's a bit old and graphics wise it's a bit old but the game is powered by the unreal engine the unreal engine is great which makes the texture look very smooth and crisp and very good not perfect but good it's a low budget game which 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 makes it look like a low budget game only because it's a low budget game and we can see why or we can see how low it is it's not like the big far cry games which i will be uh, showcasing you soon but as you can see just uh, as a entry level gamer like me it's it's a okay game for me i like this game it's okay so as a performance so the so if we briefly say performance wise the game is great and this game is performing absolutely epic on the RX 584GB graphics card so I guess or I hope you understand the importance of buying this graphics card if you are looking for a 4K 60fps then this graphics card is not for you guys you can go and buy the Vega 11 graphics or the RTX 2060 by the Nvidia there, those are much better graphics for 4K 60 FPS. You can do that, but for 10 for 1080p 60 FPS, I bet this is the best graphics card, at least for me. So you guys decide what do you want to do, and if you have something on your mind, you can give us a comment. You can write it down in the comments, and I will and I read the comments. Though I don't get any comment, but I still read the comments. Thank you guys, and I will be back with another performance test videos. Take care. Goodbye. So, hey guys, Neil here, and today we are playing a new game called. It's not a new game. Basically, it's an not even a year old game. So that's why I'm calling it a new game. And the name of the game is, as you know, by the title of the video, Terminator Resistance. And today we are going to be playing this game on my PC. So as you know from my previous previous videos, I have an 12 GB of RAM and uh, basically an RX 584 GB OC edition graphics card with an i3 processor so I will be playing this video uh, uh, video or this playing this video game sorry and my bad sorry I just um, stumbled uh, stum stammered stammered basically I do stammer because I'm nervous right now while making this video so as you know that my videos are unedited I don't edit my videos completely so I will be we I will be pretty candid with you guys. So the first point that I will be saying that this game is graphically not as good as the uh, any other triple A games. As you can see, the textures they are pretty much old. As you can see, the movement of the game is pretty much old. But the graphics is more or less okay. Now what is the speciality of this game? The speciality of this game is that this is basically a game of terminators. You destroy terminators, you basically face them and kill them. So we are going to be playing this game just to see does it give us a 60 FPS or not. But 
while I'm recording this video, I can say it with confidence, with full confidence that this game provides us a 60 FPS, a stable 50, 60 FPS frame rate. So before starting the gameplay, I would like to show you the specs that I have set it on. So first let us get to the options menu. We can see here the video, like graphics auto detect, detect. Uh, do you want do you want to auto detect the recommended graphic settings? This might take a while. So yeah, we did it uh, on recommended graphic settings. So yeah, it detected and we can see that the material quality is high as film green is on frame rate is unlimited and the view distance is basically epic epic and epic and high so only this resolution we can set this on a 1920 and basically we can set this graphics on you know ep epic because it is already on epic just the resolution so as you can see as my monitor doesn't support as a, I have a monitor issue as I said in the previous videos so it, this notification will go within a few while so let's see how much FPS it gives us as you can see it's still the video is still giving a strong FPS as you can see I am just uh, moving the cursor of the mouse and as you can see it's giving a stable FPS so in order to remove this notification Though it will, though this notification will get removed within a minute. Uh, let us give us a time. Let's do some crafting and just wait for this notification to get off. Let's craft. I need it badly. Uh, crafting. Yeah, I did it. So as you can see, I do have a. Uh, Monitor, oh, it, it, it gone. It is gone right now. So, yeah, let's play the game. So, my main objective is to mm, download the codes from the HK tank and complete the codes. Let's do it. Let's hack it. So till now we can see that on a 1080p the game is giving us a solid 60 fps if any one of you use the screen recorder app you can just turn on the software and view this video and you can see a solid frame rate of 60 fps and i'm just recording the game with bandicam so yeah okay i think they saw us so they I need to get to the other side of the route. Till now the game is giving us a solid 60 fps 
सो लेट्स गेट इन टू द हीट ऑफ द मोमेंट लाइक लेट्स गेट इन टू द हीट वेर द एक्शन विल एक्चुअली टेक प्लेस विल टेक डाउन सम टर्मिनेटर्स can see us and very okay on it let's take down this guys basically i made two videos on gta 5 in my playlist if you guys are interested you can go and watch it it's a nice video and you can give it a watch ah! killed all of the enemies here Yeah, my bad. So let's start it again. So till now, I do have a good experience with this graphic card RX 580. Does it bottleneck? Yeah, pretty much it does. like this gun it's very sleek and sexy uh is probably there are three snipers you can see it's basically a, a sniper but it has a it deals with a higher it deals a greater damage 
but basically i like this gun too but this gun only works on the robots like this and and this shotgun is basically this uh, this, uh, this is a shotgun which uh, deals a great damage but it, it is ineffective against the terminators like the t800s only that these two rifles are against are effective against this you know terminators so let's start okay so we're here so i have now decided i will not die okay we've got a problem that hk is still functional i can't get near you need a rocket launcher to even make a dent in that thing you better find one so we have to find a rocket launcher right so where is a rocket launcher Okay, our backpack is full. All right, let's see what we can. Okay, you can damage the HD thing. Just look around the backs. Got it. I'm trying to analyze its weakness. Okay, its power Oh, uh, let's upgrade our skills, and then we'll decide what to do and what to not. Toughness, fast learner. Fly is located on its back. Skynet's reinforcements are starting to show up. Nice shot. Now get to cover until it returns to the scanning routine. So basically I'll try it another time right now and I just wanted to uh, create this video just to showcase how the game is performing. All I can say is that the game is performing at its core level on a 1080p it's giving a stable frame rate of 60 fps as I can see on my Bandicam software. Mm, I can even show you the screenshot. Uh, I can't even show you the screenshot but you know if I could um, because I do have a film mode I'm editing on a film mode a video editor software but if I could then I'll try to show you the screenshots later on 
but all I can say is that the game is giving a solid 60 FPS. It's not coming down under 60 FPS. Maybe max minimum maximum it's coming down under 60 FPS is 59 FPS. It's not going above 60 FPS because it's locked at 60 FPS maybe. But this game as a performance, as a game, I would say it's an okay game as you guys have seen. The only gun that I have liked in this game is this gun. This is a great solid gun. As gameplay wise, it's a bit old. Graphics wise, it's a bit old but the game is powered by the Unreal Engine. The Unreal Engine is great which makes the texture look very smooth and crisp and very good. Not perfect but good. It's a low budget game which, which, which makes it look like a low budget game only because it's a low budget game and we can see why or we can see how low it is. It's not like the big Far Cry games which I will be uh, showcasing you soon but as you can see just uh, as a entry level gamer like me it's it's a okay game for me I like this game it's okay so as a performance so the so if we briefly say performance wise the game is great and this game is performing absolutely epic on the RX 584 GB graphics card so I guess or I hope you understand the importance of buying this graphics card if you are looking for a 4k 60 fps that this graphics card is not for you guys you can go and buy the vega 11 graphics or the rtx 2060 by the nvidia They're, those are much better graphics for 4k 60 fps you can do that but for 108 for 1080p 60 fps I bet this is the best graphics card at least for me so you guys decide what do you want to do and if you have something on your mind you can give us a call you can write it down in the comments and I will and I read the comments though I don't get any comment but I still read the comments so thank you guys and I will be back with another performance test videos so yeah take care goodbye